Before we jump into the assertion, it is essential to initially comprehend what molecule gas pedals are. The Massive Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets. It is the world's biggest and most impressive molecule smasher, addressing the pinnacle of human logical accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's strong to the point that it could reproduce the states of the primary snapshots of the universe. Yet, might this machine at some point plan to uncover the insider facts of the universe or hold the way to something substantially more? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most famous examination associations, with 23 part states and endless researchers. It is a middle for joint effort and improvement. The LHC is CERN's leader project, but it is only one piece of a tremendous organization of molecule gas pedals and trials. Envision a course, not really for vehicles or planes, but rather for subatomic particles in a trial of mastery, steadiness, and, surprisingly, the texture of space itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on an impact course that imitates the energy of the universe right now of the Big Bang. The impacts make temperatures commonly more scorching than the center of the sun. A variety of magnets directs the protons on their excursion, while complex cooling frameworks keep up with temperatures colder than space. The pillar inside the LHC is intended to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring, corresponding to the places of four molecule locators, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Every identifier has a special reason, exploring various parts of molecule physical science. Together, these finders go about as titanic cameras, catching pictures of these impacts. Specialists then, at that point, scan through the trash, searching for indications of the subtle Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God particle, and different brews that might uncover the universe's key structure blocks. By zeroing in on the microcosm, we gain experiences into the universe. Anyway, with each answer comes another inquiry, and with each disclosure, another test emerges. The LHC isn't just a logical instrument, it is a showing of human interest and progress. It typifies our tireless drive for information and our longing to figure out the key powers that shape the universe. Anyway, as we push the limits of what we realize, we should likewise consider the moral and existential inquiries that arise. What are the dangers of investigating the obscure? Might our mission for seeing inadvertently at any point release forces unchangeable as far as we might be concerned? In the blessed halls of CERN, where the constraints of human information are continually tested, a disclosure has arisen that has left even the most prearranged researchers uncomfortable. Brian Cox, a previous analyst at CERN and a specialist in molecule physical science, as of late said something that both enraptured and disrupted the world. His words reverberate with chilling lucidity. The objective of CERN's huge Hadron Collider is to reproduce a limited-scale enormous detonation. Yes, you heard that right, a little variant of the very occasion that brought forth our universe. Cox likewise examined the ramifications of this goal, featuring the LHC's exceptional potential for making pivotal disclosures, for example, opening the insider facts of the Higgs boson and investigating dark matter, a baffling substance that is a significant part of the universe. Envision grasping the force of creation, the capacity to summon the actual embodiment of the universe. It's an appealing possibility, yet one laden with risk. The scaled-down Big Bang is definitely not a theoretical idea. It is an unmistakable reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, tensions, and crude energy inside the LHC duplicate the circumstances that existed at the introduction of the universe. It is like remaining at the beginning of history, seeing the introduction of presence itself. Anyway, with such power comes gigantic obligation, and the inquiry remains. Consider the possibility that something turns out badly? As a matter of fact, something turned out badly back in 1978. Russian physicist Anat Borsky encountered a fiasco that would everlastingly modify the direction of his life. While dealing with the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pooh, Russia, a discharge failure caused a proton shaft to strike him straightforwardly. The bar went through his skull, entering the rear of his head and leaving through his nose. In spite of the terrible injury, Borsky stayed cognizant, in any event, strolling to a therapy community. His scholarly resources stayed in one piece, but the bar caused restricted tissue harm, prompting hearing misfortune in one ear and halfway facial loss of motion. This episode fills in as a distinct indication of the enormous influence and potential risks of molecule gas pedals. The dangers related to a molecule smasher like the LHC are not to be undervalued. 
The potential for startling responses and for changing the actual texture of presence are the stuff of science fiction as well as genuine worries voiced by regarded researchers. Perhaps one of the most over-the-top upsetting and fascinating concerns connected with the LHC's investigations is the chance of making a scaled-down black hole. Black holes are locales of space-time where gravity is serious to the point that nothing, not even light, can get away from. These vast entities are vacuum cleaners, eating up stars and puzzling powers prowling in the profundities of the universe. That the LHC might actually make such an element, even on a limited scale, is faltering to both the general public and researchers alike. Might this black hole at some point develop wildly, in the end consuming the Earth from within? Researchers at CERN have guaranteed the public that any black hole made would be shaky and would vanish rapidly. By and by, this slim chance has ignited dread, hypothesis, and stunningness at the influence we employ. Understanding how the LHC could make a black hole involves the fundamental principles of molecule gas pedals. When protons are crushed together at almost the speed of light, the energy delivered is tremendous to the point that it twists the texture of spacetime itself. Consider a trampoline extended tight and then dropping a weighty item onto it. The texture twists, and on the off chance that the item is weighty enough, it could make a downturn so profound that anything close by would be brought into it. This is a worked-on similarity for what could occur at the LHC, where, in the domain of quantum physical science, the laws of the universe act in odd and wondrous ways. There is a hypothesis that additional aspects might exist inside our world, stowed away from view. In the event that these aspects exist, the LHC's investigations could take advantage of them, making a gravitational well that shapes a little black hole. This bizarre way of behaving has grabbed the eye of a few noticeable researchers, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his works, he cautioned that the Higgs boson could become temperamental at very high energy levels, prompting horrendous vacuum rot. An occasion that wouldn't simply obliterate the Earth, but might actually obliterate the whole universe. Sir Martin Rees, a renowned English cosmologist and astrophysicist, likewise communicated worries about tests at CERN. In his book, Exploring the Fate of Mankind, his words were not prudent, they were loaded up with existential trepidation. He portrayed a worst-case scenario, where a bombed examination could make vacuum shakiness, setting off a stage change that would echo through space-time, possibly immersing the whole universe. Re assigned a low likelihood to these sad results, but he contended that even a little chance ought to be treated in a serious way. The stakes are uncommonly high, and the edge for mistake is razor-thin. The scientists at CERN have run reenactments, dissected hypotheses, and played it safe to guarantee the security of the LHC. Brian Cox himself has recognized the far and wide worries encompassing the LHC and stressed that thorough security measures are set up. Exhaustive surveys and conventions guarantee that the LHC's tasks are led with the greatest amount of meticulousness. Cox consoled the public that the energies included are well within the normal scope of the world's current circumstance, and the possibilities of making a steady black hole are cosmically low. Regardless of whether one were made, scientists say it would be so small and unstable that it would disperse rapidly in an eruption of energy, a peculiarity known as peddling radiation. It would be a short snapshot of grandiose marvel, a brief look into the void, and then it would be gone. Some have speculated that the LHC's examinations could open an entryway to one more universe or aspect. While this thought is generally excused by standard researchers, it has caught the public's creative mind and become the subject of dread, legend, and interest. What could lie past our universe? Might we at some point unintentionally release powers or substances that we don't completely comprehend, opening an entryway to damnation? This has been sensationalized in the media, further energizing vulnerability. Yet, how did this thought emerge, and what's the significance as far as logical investigation? The idea of additional aspects isn't new in physical science. String hypothesis, a main contender for a brought-together hypothesis of everything, proposes that there might be more aspects past the typical three of space and one of time. These additional aspects could be compactified or stowed away from our discernment, yet could hypothetically be gotten to under outrageous circumstances. Envision the LHC as a grandiose key, opening entryways that have been fixed starting from the very beginning. When protons crash with energies up until recently never accomplished on Earth, they could make swells that test these secret aspects. Assuming these aspects exist, the LHC could uncover them. Anyway, it is vital to take note of that, while the LHC is evidently strong, 
there is no decisive proof to recommend it will open a gateway to another universe, let alone to Hellfire itself. Regardless, the charm of the obscure, joined with the strange idea of quantum physical science, keeps on enamoring the public's creative mind. So, would it be advisable for us we be stressed over the LHC and its potential perils? It's not difficult to be cleared away by exciting titles and fears of worldwide disaster. Anyway, truly the truth is far more measured. The operations at the LHC are carried out with the utmost rigor, guided by years of research and collaboration among the world's leading physicists. Safety protocols, risk assessments, and countless simulations have been put in place to ensure the experiments are conducted responsibly. While the fear of catastrophic outcomes like creating a runaway black hole or triggering vacuum decay makes for compelling storytelling, the actual probability of such scenarios is astronomically low, so low that they are considered negligible. It is important to note that science often grapples with the unknown, and pushing the boundaries of knowledge can evoke both awe and fear. The LHC represents humanity's insatiable curiosity and our drive to understand the universe's fundamental nature. It has already led to groundbreaking discoveries, such as the confirmation of the Higgs boson, a particle that plays a critical role in giving mass to matter. These discoveries deepen our understanding of the universe and pave the way for advancements in technology, medicine, and beyond. That being said, the LHC also reminds us of the ethical considerations that come with scientific progress. As we strive to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos, we must remain vigilant about the consequences of our actions. The balance between exploration and caution is delicate, and the pursuit of knowledge must be tempered with responsibility. In the end, the story of the LHC is one of human ingenuity and perseverance. It stands as a testament to what we can achieve when we work together across borders, cultures, and disciplines. While concerns about its potential risks may persist, the broader purpose of the LHC is to shed light on the universe's most profound questions, questions that have captivated humanity since the dawn of time. As we peer deeper into the fabric of reality, we are reminded of our small but significant place in the cosmos and the endless potential of human discovery, however, despite the LHC's undeniable achievements and its role in advancing our understanding of the universe, the allure of the unknown continues to spark public imagination, skepticism, and even conspiracy theories. For instance, some claim that CERN's work might lead to the unintended creation of a catastrophic event or suggest that scientists are playing God by delving into the fabric of reality. These views, while often rooted in misunderstanding or fear, highlight the tension between scientific progress and societal perceptions of risk. One of the most persistent myths surrounding the LHC is its supposed ability to tear a hole in the universe or summon forces beyond human comprehension. This stems partly from the exotic and abstract nature of particle physics, which can be difficult for non-specialists to grasp. Concepts like black holes, dark matter, or extra dimensions sound like the stuff of science fiction, and when framed dramatically, they can fuel anxiety or sensationalism. However, as researchers frequently emphasize, these fears are based on a misunderstanding of the physics involved. CERN itself has made extensive efforts to educate the public, dispel myths, and communicate the purpose and safety of the LHC's experiments. Through outreach programs, public lectures, and transparent reporting of its findings, the organization seeks to bridge the gap between complex scientific endeavors and public understanding. Yet, it remains challenging to address every speculative claim or quell every concern, especially in the age of social media, where misinformation can spread rapidly. The philosophical and existential questions raised by the LHC's work are just as compelling as the scientific ones. For example, what does it mean for humanity to have the power to recreate conditions similar to those at the beginning of the universe? Are there limits to what we should pursue in the name of knowledge? These are questions without easy answers, but they underscore the need for continued dialogue between scientists, ethicists, and the broader public. Ultimately, the LHC is more than just a machine, it is a symbol of human curiosity and ambition.